welcome back to the Am Sam. Today I'm going to be doing some cooking. Today I'm going to be cooking from one of my favorite chefs. I've got a cookbook recently, and her name is Zora Vitali. You can watch some of her videos on YouTube. And today I'm going to be cooking filler of beef a poivre. The ingredients are thickened or heavy cream, beef stock, some butter, salt and pepper. Oil, you can use rice bran oil or any oil. You can use some thyme and some shallots. Okay, let's get started. Mum, I need your help with this. Okay, so you're gonna need a 10 inch skillet and you're going to put it over medium heat and heat it up for seven to eight minutes. While that's happening, we're gonna prepare our beef. So, when we're preparing the beef, we're going to get our seasoning, our salt and pepper, and we're just going to sprinkle it over. Now we're going to put in the pepper. And so it should look like that in the top layer. Then you're going to flip it all over. Now we're going to do the seasoning again. So you're just going to get your salt. Now we're going to add the pepper. Okay, so while that's happening, it should look like that. I'm just going to let it sit for five minutes. Mum, is the pan ready? Now I'm ready to fry. Just going to let that cook. We might be able to put in one more little one. Sizzled. Now we wait. Okay, so my family likes their beef and steak very perfect, so we like ours medium. If you like yours medium, you can put on four minutes each side. If you can put it shorter or shorter time or more time, depending how you guys like it. But we like it medium. Well, some of us do. Time to turn. This is very like hot, hot mum. Mum, make sure you have a pair at the house. Three more minutes. Okay, nearly two. I can see that. Looking pretty good. How many more minutes left? Two more minutes yet? The side that we've done looks really good. Okay, so before, Mum and I prepared a salad. Um, because salads have to go with beef and things like that. For me. And so we prepared that. Um, it's nice to go with some beef. So, yeah. Some yummy vegetables inside. And we also prepared some dressing. All we used was lemon juice, salt, pepper, and olive oil. I think they might be ready. Okay, now the beef is done, we're going to use the same pan to make the sauce in so we can keep all the juices and tasty stuff in. Now we're going to be doing, using the rest of these ingredients to make the sauce. There's the butter. And it's going to add your shallots in. Then you're going to stir until it's soft. Obviously it's giving the sauces mixed through and this is what's going to make the beginning of the sauce. And you've got to keep stirring otherwise it's literally going to burn, like the light burn. We're just going to keep on stirring and stirring and stirring. Now we're just taking um, it off heat and you just want a couple of tablespoons of brandy and don't worry kids, the alcohol will burn out. Put it back on here. As you can see, this is kind of caramelizing. I think that's good. Just keep on stirring till it's all combined. Again, be careful not to burn yourself because that's the last thing you want to do. 
apart from setting the house on fire. This is why my dad doesn't cook. And now we're just going to add the broth. Okay, it's settled there. And then bring it to a boil. Okay, now it's boiling. We're just going to add the thyme until it increases the flavour. And if you want the measurements of all the ingredients, it would be at the end of the video. Okay, now it's reduced by half. We're going to add the cream and wait till it's thickened. So you might need your water spoon to get the cream out. The reason why I keep on stirring is I don't want it to burn. So just keep, keep stirring because you don't want it to burn. And just keep an eye on it as well. Okay, now you just want to turn it off and then you can get ready to serve. Now it's time to prep the meal ready to serve. And a nice big juicy set of beef in the middle. And now we just want to put our dressing on the salad. Stir it all up. We want the dressing to get on the salad. Now you're going to pour, put um, some of the salad on the side of the plate. Now we're going to be pouring the sauce. Make sure you pour the sauce over the beef. And that's it. Voila, and now the meal is ready to serve. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We will definitely have more video of recipe videos in the future. Um, if you want us to make a recipe, put it in the comments down below. And yeah, see you guys later.